hey guys welcome back or welcome to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful life of course as y'all already know today i'm going to be unboxing the iphone 15 plus in this beautiful green color now this phone isn't mine it's actually my youngest older brother so i am boxing it for you guys today i actually have a video of me customizing the home screen the icons which it's all of that is going to be posted a little bit after this video so be on the lookout for that video Since this isn't my device, I'm not going to be unboxing a lot of accessories in this video. Just a good old screen protector, a cheap case, and the backbone controller. So this case, like I mentioned, is pretty cheap. It's decent for what it is, but honestly, I would suggest the gift mop they try. I'm gonna add the little snap-on wallet slash phone stand on here. Honestly, this is such a lifesaver and I recommend to anybody and everybody. It is a full coverage case, but I honestly see this getting dirty really, really quick. I would rather invest in a better case if you're able to. actually unboxed this a couple of weeks ago from Temu. It's just a wireless portable MagSafe charger. It will come in clutch. I mentioned in my pro unboxing video that I have the original backbone, but since the new phones have a USB-C port, it's not compatible anymore. So I went ahead and bought me this one from Best Buy, but you can also get it from their actual website. This is my old one. It's all pretty and everything. So I was kind of sad that I wasn't able to use this one. This one came with this little thing on here so it can help with the Pro Max phones so that way the camera doesn't get scratched up or anything like that. It does bulk out just a little bit with the Pro Maxes, but it still works. It's really simple to set up. You just have to connect it to your phone and when it comes to Genshin, you just go into settings and change it to controller. And since I mainly use an Xbox controller, I don't have to mess around with, with the button layout. So I also showed you guys this little setup from my 15 Pro unboxing. I'm just using Joy-Cons on this mount that I got from Etsy. Now using it like this is not bad, especially if you already have Joy-Cons and you don't want to spend the $100 that the backbone costs, but it's kind of uncomfortable for me. I did 
play this with longer nails the last time and it was super unbearable. But with shorter nails, I was able to play a little bit better and more comfortably. But I think it's because of the button layout. It's way too close to each other and I've accidentally pressed the wrong button before while playing. I will say playing without a controller is still manageable and honestly it's way better playing on this screen size rather than the pro or the regular 15. Again, I'm not able to use this joystick adapter, but I was able to find two other ones on Amazon, so I am going to unbox that once I get my Pro Max. And I thought it would work with this adapter, but it unfortunately didn't. Again, I don't really care that much about cameras, but I wanted to give you a side-by-side uh, -side comparison versus the Pro. Not me properly ending the video, child. But nevertheless, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you, thank you for all the support, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.